it's free by the way there's no cost to using Aweber for up to a certain number of subscribers hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about email list building building your audience with an email list what do you need to do to you when you're using an email list on Aweber we're going to talk about Aweber specifically and we're going to talk about how to grow an audience with email lists so we're going to get into that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. That's right, so you need to build an audience, right? You need an audience on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on TikTok, on YouTube, wherever, right? But you also need an email list in uh, an audience in your email as well. And you might be thinking, well, why do I need emails? Email isn't the emails gone? Isn't it like chatting isn't it like uh, texting is not the new thing now and maybe it is and it's certainly taking on and growing but emails are still considered one of the best places to build a list to grow an audience and we're going to talk about how you do that what are the basic things that you need to grow that and we're going to get into that and before I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video and the blog post at cis398.jsgagnon.com because you know I share my screen and I'm going to be showing more in the blog post all right uh, let's get right to it then so let's go ahead and share my screen and show you what we're talking about okay so first how do you grow your audience right so growing an audience just means getting more people in, in following you uh, liking your Facebook uh, you know subscribing to YouTube those kinds of things but an audience is somebody who actually likes you I mean yeah you can have an audience that doesn't really want to be following you and they're just there because they're trying to promote stuff and you're certainly going to get some of those but you got to remember that those people they're just there for their own benefits right so what you want is people that actually like you that know what you're about that want to be in your stuff that want to be you know seeing your things so how do you grow that using an Aweber email list what are the things that you're going to need to do to get your email list in Aweber we're going to talk about you know how to how to get uh people in your list I got 996 subscribers now but I keep uh deleting old people that aren't are, aren't good or aren't aren't active in my list or maybe fake names because I do get uh, some fake names too and we're going to show you how to create the messages how to create the list those kinds of things but the main most important thing is you know what are the things that you need to even grow an audience sure yeah you need an Aweber account or other uh email provider you need to create messages you need this you need that you need uh, a capture page all those things but what are the basics what are the things I'm actually going through that right now because every time I start something new or I um it's always about course income secret style about generating income from online and which means you know you got to have an audience if you don't have an audience you can't you're not going to get any sales I mean the only people that know you are the ones that are even going to be interested in even looking at your thing so if you only have 10 friends you know or even 100 friends that's not going to get you online sales it's just not you, you can have 100 fans like super hardcore fans but how do you get those fans and you know that's a topic for another day but right now I just want to kind of talk to you about what are the things you need to grow an audience so let's just get that up here so number one you know what do you need to grow an audience with emails because you can grow an audience on Facebook by getting people to like your page by people getting people to comment on your stuff there's all these strategies about engagement and about creating content posting on YouTube you know getting people to subscribe to your lit to your uh, YouTube channel on Twitter getting them to follow you Instagram getting them to follow you all those things those are all audiences as well and there it's a different kind of strategy than with emails because with emails well you have to have something to give them I mean 
on social media right on social media you're going to have content that they like right they're going to they're going to like like say on Instagram for example right if you have content that they like and that's a whole other topic right but I mean you got to get uh, the content that your audience that your target market is interested in there's a, it's a whole thing about avatars which I guess kind of falls into the email thing too because who is it that you're trying to attract that's your avatar right who is it that you're trying to attract what do you what would they want right so I mean obviously it has to be it has to be something your avatar avatar wants right so something your avatar wants what does that mean right so if, say for example you're in the weight loss well it should be something that somebody who's trying to lose weight will give you their email for so it could be you know a weight loss guide it could be uh, foods to avoid it could be um a, a course on 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 you know I don't know getting your morning uh, routine to to be more successful in your weight loss it could be a, a, an ebook it could be a checklist there's all sorts of different things that you can give away to people that they'll be willing to give you their email for right so that's the first thing you got to have something so where do you find where do you find things right so so you could so let's just say where where do you do whoops do you find something whoops something to give them right so I mean whoops something to give them so I mean there's it depends right obviously it depends on who your avatar is like me it's all about generating course income it's about building an audience online it's about attraction marketing personal branding all those things so for me uh there's lots of places or for me I can I can use use MLSP um a free uh, trainings right so uh for example on um, my leases pro which is something I'm part of let's just kind of show you right here I should have probably loaded that page up before uh let me just log into here and kind of show you what I'm talking about so if you're trying to build a business online my leases pro is definitely a place where you could use to give away free stuff so if I go to for example uh promotions under here product uh, custom lead let's go to generic where's the lead gen lead gen so if I go into here you can see right here there's a whole bunch of different uh things right here that are useful to generate leads so I could give people for example messenger marketing guide right or get free social leads I could give them instant authority training Instagram training right so if I want to I can give them these things so just an example if I look at this what this looks like so I could give you or you could give people this which basically is a free training on how to get customers in cash you know with with Instagram it's uh instant authority met oh this is the authority method sorry not Instagram but specific to building authority online basically you give them this link which we see right here right this link here which would be with your ID instead obviously but you give them this link and then they just see this page and they put their click this button to give you their email because they want this they want this they want these videos right they want these videos so they're willing to give you their email right so there's a whole bunch of different ones that's one way to get leads right so what's the other other few ways you can you can create your own pdf slash ebook right you can create your own book you can go out there you can learn how to do a certain thing that your audience is interested in and you can create an ebook I mean I'm creating an ebook right now if I show you oh, I should probably go in the other browser hold on um what's going on uh right down here this guy so if I go for example to where I'm actually creating an ebook I created a, a few ebooks so canva and uh, using canva you can also do it with word <laughs> you know whatever you can create a whole bunch of things but right now I'm actually creating an ebook on nfts right so like this thing here is I'm still putting it together it's going to be your first you know this is what the ebook's going to be that's going to be for my nft stuff that I'm building and you can create an ebook using canva like this right you can do that that's one way to do it you can actually use canva it's like got a whole bunch of examples it's like insane what you can do with canva to actually build a freebie that you can give to people for for them to give you their email that's another thing you can do right 
what else can you do we can do um you can also give them you can give them so you, oh actually you can create you can create your own um online course to give them right you can actually give them a free course like if I go for example to my my website that I built to to host courses if I go to click eCourse I can actually go to the courses here and I there's courses here that I whoops I didn't it didn't go to courses if I go to courses I can actually give them for free some of these courses that are free so if I just uh actually I have the price on here so this one's free I can give this away I can give this LinkedIn profile secrets one here I can just give people this course all I do is I give them this this link that's here well actually if I click on share you can say you can give them this, this link and then they're automatically going to be um on my list because they uh they have to enter their email to actually access the course right so that's another thing you can do the other thing the other thing you can do too is you can actually uh use use a plr so private label rights um item right because for plr there's a bunch of different ways there's uh, courses there's ebooks there's all these things they're all free well they're free you like in this case there's like a crazy ridiculous membership so uh, let's go plr uh this one here so I got this this one that I use uh that you can actually get for like 70 bucks or something a lifetime deal and then you can use these things you can give these courses away you can give this wired for success you can get this secrets you can vision board made easy eight secrets about mental resilience right all these things you can actually give those away and put them in in your own in your own e course platform or send them by email or whatever you want to do and then that allows you to build your list by because they'll give you their email to have this because you know the, there's some value to it right there's ebooks there's all sorts of things on this like if I go here under here there's ebooks private label by videos there's even graphics manipulating software so that's uh, another way you can build your email list so you got to give them something that they want okay so that's the first thing number one is give them something that they want um for their email because the, 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 their email is valuable to you right so you got to give them something otherwise they're not gonna give you their email so number two number two is you got to have a website to ask for their email right so um in the blog post by the way I will be uh, posting links to access all these things so you can you can find them easily uh, I'm an affiliate so you know full disclosure there's some I get some commission if you join up with my link and but that's that's uh, I'm also available to help you and everything right okay so a website to ask for the email so that can be uh that can be as simple as a a a Weber form so an a Weber form whoops simple as an a Weber form so that is in a Weber you can actually create a web form if I go here right I can say sign up forms and you can create I have one here for this particular thing I've got uh, you know shows me how many people actually submitted and how many displays or whatever so this you can create this and then add that to your blog or you can even have a, a direct page and just send the link to it right I can actually can I do that publish I think over here it'll give me the URL for it uh use my form I will install anyways we're not gonna necessarily talk about that but um yeah so you can have a form the other way you can do it too is you can create uh create opt-in page in funnel builder right so there's diff there's lots of different platforms out there I mean I obviously I I use click funnels I use a um, uh, MLSP funnelizer like in the MLSP there's actually a funnel building uh piece to it and then there's click funnels um so like you know MLSP MLSP funnel funnelizer um or click funnels right so those are those are two different platforms that allow you to create like these really complex um funnels where you basically you would have a page where you ask them for their email and you tell them that what you're going to give them in return right so it'd be a page that says uh, give me uh, your email and I'm going to send you this 
and then there's another page afterwards that's that maybe thanks them or maybe even offers them something they can maybe buy right so there's you can do lots of things with a funnel um, that's a little bit more advanced than just a simple capture page right uh what else you can also uh, use uh, wordpress uh, wordpress with plugins to ask to build email list so to at well I guess to ask to ask for email right to ask for email so that's basically you're just you would just create a page and on that page you can ask for their email as a as a embedded form there's different ways to do that uh, but there's lots of uh, options um, okay so that's you need that's number two right so number one you need something to give them for their email because they're not going to give you their email if they don't they don't get any value from it they're just, you can't just ask people for their emails right and then number three whoops number three you need initial emails initial emails to send to them so they get to know you so that's when they first give you their email th th this is your chance to because they're actually open to it they actually just gave you their email they're actually going to maybe going to open your emails and they're going to look at what you have to say and you have to build it so basically there's a um, Russell Brunson talks about a uh, soap opera sequence soap opera sequence style whoops sequence style is really one of the best ways to do it so you basically have five emails or four emails that you send them over the next five days after they first get on your list you send them five emails that explain what they asked for right so the first email is you're going to send them the a link to whatever you're giving them or maybe even it's an attachment really up to you how do you do that but you send it to their email by the way don't make the mistake of putting the free thing you're giving them on the funnel page on page two right don't make that mistake because if you do that nobody needs to give you a real email they can give you a fake email or not even put a, an email that's valid or not theirs and they still get your free thing right so you, you don't want to do that you don't want to give them the free thing unless they give you a valid email because you want to be able to contact them afterwards so that's what you do you make sure that you send it to them in the first email then on the other four emails that you send after that are a what's called what Russell talks about he talks about a soap opera sequence so basically you you start that first email where you give them the thing and then you have this like at the end of it you tell them tomorrow I'm going to give you that I'm going to tell you a story of how blah 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 happened just so make sure you open your email the subject will be x right so you do that in the first email it's called opening a loop making them curious about the next email so they're looking forward to opening up that second email and you do the same thing with each, each of them you kind of tell a little bit about the story and then you finish off with oh I'm going to add oh my god tomorrow you're going to learn about x y z and then you do that in the third email etc it's called a C soap opera scene so, so that gets them to kind of know who you are what you're about you got to tell stories about you or about, or about the product or things like that so that they actually get to kind of know who you are right and then um and then that makes them you know want to to continue opening their emails because they, they they're starting to like you right they're starting to think oh this this guy or this girl she's doing great stuff uh, I think I should I, I want to keep looking at their stuff right so uh so each email should have an open loop open loop to to next one right so and then even on the last the last one the number five email right where you send them um uh, the, so by the way the if you want to make income from these emails then you would have to have an offer in them right so that's separate from what we're talking about here we're just talking about building your audience or so one of the things that you might want to do with these emails is you might want to say well don't forget to follow me on Instagram right or don't forget to um, like my page on Facebook here's a link to my page I really appreciate if you like that so then people that go through your email actually read it they're going to be like yeah okay I'll go like their page or I'll go subscribe to their channel or those kinds of things right so you gotta that could be something and actually that's what you should be doing if you're trying to build your audience grow your audience right 
okay so uh the next thing is um so include include whoops include if I can write I might be able to write I'm not sure we'll see <laughs> include a call to action a CTA call to action right we call these CTAs to follow or subscribe right so that's to make sure that they go to your social media channels and stuff like that right and so then the fourth thing so again let's repeat that number one you got to have something to give them for their email if you don't have anything to give them why would they give you their email right number two you got to have a website to ask for them so you know a funnel page or an opt-in page or some way for them to actually put their email in and for them to see what they're going to get for that email number three you got to have initial emails to send them once they give you their email that's called an initial it's called an well some call it an intra in indoctrination series or some of them call them an introduction or uh, Russell Brunson calls them a soap opera sequence right all right so number four number four we have here is regular emails to build relationships so once they've gone through your first five emails if you don't send them other emails afterwards they're just going to forget who you are most likely or most of them will right because they've got a they've got a life they got other things going on they they see other people's emails they see other people on their social media they see others that are building things that are doing more than what you're doing so if you're not sending daily emails which by the way I'm not doing that great at and it's definitely something I need to work on but I, I certainly know that that's what you need to do and uh and so yeah so that's basically number four is you got to build regular emails to them so Russell Brunson again calls that um Seinfeld Seinfeld emails so emails about nothing <laughs> right so basically just random things like you're going through each day and that's something I like I said I have to do that I have to build that and if you can you make some sort of offer right or either a call to action maybe just to subscribe to your channel oh my god by the way yesterday I created this new video on my YouTube channel that I'm really proud of <laughs> I think it's so cool it's all about how to blah 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 I would really you know if you want to go check it out here's the link and I really appreciate a subscription and we'll see you tomorrow so you you can do something simple like that right um, but you know um Russell talks about really building the relationship by just telling them about your random things your during your day like like I have I, I do these videos every day right every week I do a video like this for my course income secrets series right and I can I can talk about all sorts of different things because you know that's kind of what this is all about it's about building online presence about building personal pers a personal brand all these different things but it's all about generating income if you want to generate income you need to have an audience you need to build a personal brand you need to have probably a blog and a Facebook page and a, an Instagram account and all those things you need all those things right otherwise you're just not going to grow an audience if you don't have eyeballs on your stuff right <clears throat> okay so uh if you were here to listen to learn how to do these things unfortunately we're not going to have a lot of time but I can kind of show you the basics right so first if you go to Aweber actually if you go to JS if you go to JS JS I uh, know Aweber aweber.jsggnon.com um if you go to that I don't know is that going to take me to the I've never really tried using the the search bar there for that but let's see what happens is it going to take me there yeah it, it is okay so if you go to aweber.js again it'll actually take you to well right now I'm logged in so uh let's log out let's log out log out let's do it again let's go to aweber again to the same thing dot jsgagnon.com right so that'll take you to uh, Nayweber create an account and uh if I go home here well, I guess that's what it is it's accepting me to log in uh, maybe I need to go to an incognito window for that so Aweber aweber.js so the reason I'm giving you this link is obviously it's an affiliate link you can just look it up if you want but basically when you go there you get this page which basically which tells you 
which um re, you know asks you to get an Aweber account right it's free by the way there's no cost to using Aweber for up to a certain number of subscribers and there's certain features that you get uh, for free then other features you have to pay for but it's really not that expensive and if you're building a business online you're going to want to have uh, the advanced features anyways but Aweber is really great because it's you can start off for free and you'll learn all the basics right so first you do that you go there and you go to that link do I have the Aweber link I don't think so let me add it here uh ta -ta -ta. so Aweber uh, it's going to be Aweber dot um, that's the link for it I gotta make this I'm putting that on the screen here let's make the color uh, some sort of blue and then let's make the background a little bit more okay so now by the way I'm using something called OBS to do this so I'm just gonna gonna show you here how this works this is the link to it Aweber actually I don't like this black do do you like it this is where you would go aweber.jsguiding.com let's actually edit that and make the background the color a white uh no let's make the color blue well, blue is fine actually the background I should change right let's change the background to uh to 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 to, to white instead how's that oh what happened here I want to change this to blue though why did that change to, to white there we go okay that's good that's better right it looks kind of cleaner if I edit this again I want to just change that to a with a case looks nicer oh and it should be HTTP oh no it actually can be HTTPS so that's fine that doesn't matter okay so that's uh aweber.jz anyways whatever so you go there and you set up your free account and we'll just take that out of there and we'll show you what happens after that so once you've got your account you're going to log in right um and the first time you go there you're not going to have what you're seeing here right we're not going to have all this dashboard all these different things but what you're going to need to do is you need to you're you're going to need to create a list so if I go here well when you first go there it's probably going to give you the option to just create a list but for me I just go down here and I say create new list and then you create your list you give it a name so let's say uh learning about let's just do that because I need to create one of these uh oh company name it's going to be cheap let's say this is going to be Unicorniax or actually it's going to be the Nyax because this is my the Nyax and I'm not going to worry about this I'm going to give it the same address here uh the list name is going to be NFT basics that's what it's going to be so learn oops so I'm basically that's kind of what I'm working on right now right so learn the basics of nfts and how to buy your first so that's good for that that's good for now uh from name okay so it's gonna be info oh from name so the nex nex me x oops me x that's actually a new domain that I'm creating so it's going to be I should probably add a new sender email so info at the me x .com. Uh, why why did that happen oh okay so I'm supposed to have received an email let's go take a look and this is you know when you're setting it up you're gonna have to do all this right so this is the to info at the neex.com right I'm just gonna click on verify and it's all good he's happy let's go back to the other tab and let's go back next well the Nyx, it is not pending it's verified okay I guess I'll just let's change it let's put it for this one for now and then we'll go back and edit it because uh local English subject line please confirm your request there you go uh, no just create list okay so now I have the list 
that's the first step you got to create your list otherwise you you how are you going to get people on a list if you don't have a list right so I'm going to go back here to uh, uh list options manage lists because I got to go back to this list nft what did I call it called it nft basics there you go this one I want to manage this list I want to change the from info at the next there you go save that and I also want to send myself some neat apps I also want to send myself a notification info at there we go okay so save okay um so whenever somebody subscribes to my list I just want to get a notification that's kind of how you do it so let's go now to the messages so now the first thing you're going to want to do is you now once you have your list you well you don't need I guess you don't need to create your messages other than yeah let's create the let's do a campaign set it up as a campaign because when you first get people on the list I said you need to send five emails right so let's go here under campaigns and let's uh we're already 30 minutes so we won't have a lot of time to go through this whole thing but if you want help definitely reach out I can I we can have a one-on-one -on -one or we can do a like I do a other online trainings and I can help you with what you're trying to do right okay so um so create campaign I just want to create a campaign I'm just going to create a blank one and it's going to I just like to call them welcome it doesn't really matter because there's just something that shows up in your list and I want the campaign to be triggered whenever somebody subscribes and what I want to do is send the message whoops send the message or I can just drag it here and I create a message and I'm just going to go here I'm going to create a welcome here's your free gift because that's really what this is going to be <coughs> and let's just um uh, welcome here's your free nft guide thanks for asking about right so this will be asking about the so in my case obviously it's an nft guide um you can find it you can find it at okay so like I said this will be the link link to guide right so I'm not gonna I'm not ready for it right but that's kind of where it's going to be I'm going to have wherever I whenever once I've created it I'm going to put the upload it somewhere and then this will be the link to get it and that's how they're going to be able to get that uh link and now like I said before the rest of this is um open loop to next email right so now there has to be an open loop at the end to say hey by the way tomorrow I'm going to tell you about x and do it make sure you look for the subject x or whatever right so that's what we talked about I'm just going to say that just like this right now so you're going to uh, so you can get an idea of how to start this so now the next thing is you're going to want to wait the default is a day whoops so wait one day you can make it wait longer if you want then you send another message and this message here would be something else so I'll just remove it for now I'm just going to save it like this um for with nothing else and then I'm going to activate it so once you've got the messages done you you would activate the campaign what that means is that once somebody new gets added to their list they're going to get this email and you can always edit it add it right you can you can just click on it to edit it again add more messages and whatever edit the messages that are in there that's kind of how you do it but that's part two right you need to have a list you need to have a uh, emails to send to them and you need to have a page so then when you can do is a landing page or a sign up form right so if you can do with Aweber you don't even need click funnels or clicky or or funnelize or whatever or any other thing you can just use Aweber right so if you go here landing pages I'm just going to create a new landing page here a basic one and I'm just going to go create a landing page now there's a whole bunch of different um options that they have right here so I can actually use one that's like this let's say this one a simple product let's look at this I, let's just see if that's what I want um a product name by now okay well that's that could be easy enough uh obviously there are a whole bunch of different ones but you want something pretty simple because you don't want you don't want people to have this crazy Thing to read and whatever right so I'm just going to look at this one choose this one book promotion 
okay so my mine is an ebook that I created right so this will be so maybe I you know if I go back to my my thing here I can actually take this page here as my ebook I can just download this save it just uh just page one and page one there you go which page one okay. download so I just want the page one because I'm going to use that in my uh, cover so I'm going to save that into my nfts this will be cover oh you saved it as a pdf I don't want a pdf sorry I want a jpeg in this case download as a jpeg a png page one just page one there we go download page one okay sorry I messed that up I should have done a png for page one obviously because that's what I want and simple steps to your nft there you go okay so now I have the download I go back to here and I'm going to upload an image right here and we're just going to delete what is this upload an image okay and we're just going to go back to here it's in my five steps and this can be this one and there you go so now that replaces this get your three get your first nft and show it up to your friends so this is going to be in the obviously you know it's going to be whatever I'm just going to save this for now and that's going to be a landing page that people can go to and I can actually publish this and then I get a link right here copy this link and I can just go and show you kind of what it looks like if I go to new incognito this will be the link to this and it's got my you know my thing that I'm doing right obviously and this is you can use this as a page to send people to right and it'll say it should say get it now or whatever right but uh yeah so you can do all this in a Weber so that's the next thing so what is it that we said we needed so number so we have the website to ask for their email uh we need the list we got their email or the thing that we have to give them and then initial emails to send them we're building that and then regular emails to build the relationship that's basically like I said you would go in here under messages and you would go and say create broadcast you just create a message and uh, let's just do that for now just to kind of show you it's the same process of creating the message for your initial emails but this one here is just going to be your um so you go like this and you say um I got my video done and then I can say hey it was a great day and whatever right you just say whatever for that day and don't forget don't forget to subscribe I appreciate it blah 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 whatever you want to use then you just save it and then you send it as a broadcast now you can do that anytime you can schedule that you can create a whole bunch of them and schedule them and I can go here schedule a broadcast and I can say I don't I don't need to yeah sure I don't share on Facebook I don't need that or maybe you do what list right active subscribers when to send it this is where you would say I want to send it like this one is going to go tomorrow morning at 7 a.m right or whatever your schedule that you want to use and then you can uh, there's other things automations whatever things say schedule you click that button to schedule it and that's that's it then it becomes scheduled for tomorrow right so I'm just going to delete it for now because I don't want it but uh, I can click on unschedule right here to remove the schedule and now it becomes just a draft again right did that work uh scheduled unscheduled it doesn't look like it's but anyways whatever so that's kind of how you do the email broadcast oh there you go it got returned to my drafts so it's under my drafts yes there you go drafts you can see right here drafts right uh and that's where it is now okay so that's how you create and you can create a whole bunch of messages ahead of time and schedule them each day and do things like that but you know the, the daily emails that you send out should be you know things that have to do with your life that people would 
that you think people would be interested in that you're in your avatar like for me if I'm doing an nft stuff well I should probably be talking about the stuff I'm doing with my nfts how I set up my 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 discord server and how it's I've, I've, I've bought a bunch of new nfts uh, about uh, mansions and things and whatever right so things like that so you got to remember to do that too and so hopefully this is uh hopefully this helps it gives you a, a start as to how to build your audience on using a Weber using emails and uh, hopefully that you're gonna get and if you have any questions obviously you can always reach out and we'll talk later. have yourself a great day this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.